All right. Welcome to DVT headquarters. My name is Vince Rodriguez. Here is the DVT mock-up T-Sat that we created. As I set it down, we can take a closer look at what's inside. We see we have three missile stack layers. On the top is going to be the DVT COM board. The middle is the MSP430 layer. And the bottom is the power layer. Moving on the other side, we see we have four AA batteries connected to a terminal block that and then in turn enters a switch so that we can turn our T-Sat on and off. So to turn the T-Sat on, you flip this switch down, you'll see the green indicator light turn on, and that means our T-Sat has awakened. All right, now that the T-Sat has been awakened, we can now set up the earth station so that we can send and receive packets. So first thing you'll notice is we'll have a 9 dB Yagi connected through a cable here that goes to an SMA output we also have the CC1120 evaluation board connected. So the first thing we're going to want to do is connect this SMA connector to the evaluation board. Once that's connected, that ensures that our antenna is connected to the evaluation board. Next, we want to connect the evaluation board to our PC. So we'll take our USB cable, we'll plug one end into the CC1120 and we'll plug the other end into our laptop or desktop. The, evalu the evaluation board will be powered by the computer. So as soon as we plug that USB in, we should be able to flip the main power switch and the board will come on and now it'll be ready to transmit and receive packets. So now I'm gonna take you into the CC1120's RF studio on the computer desktop. Now that the Earth Station and the TSAT has been configured, we're going to want to open Smart RF Studio. Once Smart RF Studio has been opened, in the bottom there's a list of connected devices. Our CC1120 evaluation kit will be located and we'll have to double click on the name to open the control panel. Once the control panel has been opened, we'll see all various RF parameters as well as different modes we can set our CC11 evaluation kit into. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to the top left and click File and Open Config. Now located in your Earth Station folder will be a TSAT config file that you'll want to double click and open. Now that we've opened the config file, we can go over the R parameters to make sure they're correct. Our carrier frequency is going to be at 915 megahertz, Xtile at 32 megahertz, Symbol rate at 12.5 kilosymbols per second, bit rate at 12.5, transmit power at 15, deviation at 3.997803 kilohertz, modulation format is going to be 2GFSK, RX filter bandwidth is going to be 25 kilohertz, power, power amplifier ramping and whitening are both checked, and the performance mode is high performance. So to transmit a packet, to our TSAT, we'll come down into the lists and select Packet Transmit. Once we've selected that, we'll make sure that there is no sequence number, the packet count will be one, and we'll be sending it a text packet. So in here, we have three different text packets we can send in. The first is going to be TSAT. TSAT will wake up the TSAT and send all the log data that it has stored. The other command is volt, which will send the current power monitoring battery voltage that the TSAT is receiving. Lastly, A1 read will return the analog input of the first analog in on the expansion port. To test our system, we're going to send the command volt to view the power monitoring voltage. So we have volt make sure all of our parameters are set correctly, and we'll send one packet to wake up the TSAT. Once the packet's been sent, we'll be able to come to packet RX, set infinite, viewing format and text, and no sequence number included in payload, and start listening. Now we see that we can see that the TSAT voltage and what the voltage value of the batteries is currently as well as our call sign that was used in the HAB testing. 
This concludes the user's guide on how to configure and how to start sending and receiving packets between the TSAT and another station. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe.